Marjorie Rosales has been living in Tijuana for a year after fleeing Honduras with her daughter. Almost a month ago, she told me she would stay outside the San Ysidro port of entry for as long as it took for the Biden administration to allow her to claim asylum in the U.S. Last Friday, she was still there. Like last time, she didn't want her face shown. Ha sido bien duro porque estas dos últimas semanas han caído lluvias y se me ha mojado la ropa. Rosales is not alone. In the over three weeks since the Biden administration began first processing asylum seekers here at the southern border, asylum seekers have flocked to El Chaparral in Tijuana, where they formed a camp where they're waiting for any indication that the Biden administration will begin processing asylum seekers not part of the Remain in Mexico program. As of Friday, it had only processed about 1,900 asylum seekers who had earlier been sent back to Mexico under the Remain in Mexico program, with 641 being processed at the San Diego-Tijuana border. That leaves thousands of asylum seekers, many who don't qualify to be processed under the Biden program, without any idea of when they'll be allowed into the U.S. And camping out, waiting for information. Those that have decided to remain to stay uh, are going to remain until they have answers. Ian Philibaum is with Innovation Law Lab, which advocates on behalf of asylum seekers. They are going to remain until there is a defined process where they can identify themselves within that process and including the steps that they need to take in order to be able to pr uh, continue the pursuit of asylum or whatever type of relief they're looking for in the United States. The absence of those guidelines, the absence of a coordinated dissemination uh, and distribution of information about what that might look like is the number one reason that this camp currently exists. On Friday morning at the camp, there was a flurry of activity. A kitchen was distributing food, doctors from Tijuana were looking into the health of migrants, and school was in session, being led by asylum seekers who had been teachers in their home country. 26-year-old Evelyn Sanchez is one of the teachers. Well, yo siento que los niños eh, mantienen un estrés porque por la situación que vivimos acá y es una manera de que ellos se relajen. En la escuela no precisamente vamos a escribir, aprender eh, eh, letras o números. También vamos a compartir con los mismos compañeros, comparten sus experiencias de vida. She feels that people like her are common in the camp people with something to provide. Somos personas educadas, con principios, con valores, y que lo mismo que queremos nosotros, eh, hacia nosotros, queremos hacia nuestros hijos. Y si vamos, si estamos aquí en México, no somos como un estorbo o la basura de la sociedad. Simplemente somos migrantes y tenemos derecho, derechos como todos. In the first few days of the camp, security was an issue, as provocateurs and traffickers spread misinformation. Now the camp is watched over by a group of volunteers including Marco Garcia, also from Honduras. Cuando yo vine, uh, vi la necesidad de que nadie nos cuidaba, ¿sí? entonces hice la iniciativa, eh, conseguí este chaleco y me puse. Al ver ellos que yo andaba cuidándolos, me dijeron, oye, brother, quiero ayudarte. Entonces les digo, excelente. Ahora les conseguí chalecos que la gente me da. While many asylum seekers in the camp are from Central America, especially Honduras, there are people from across the world, including many Haitians, some of whom have recently arrived in Tijuana as the political situation in their country continues to deteriorate. Jean-Claude Jean spent five years in Chile after being targeted by organized crime in Haiti. Después dos años, y yo me mata a mi mamá. Sí, sí me mata a mi mamá. Por, por, porque ellos no la viste a mí, ellos están buscando a mi hermano, no la viste, lo viste mi, mi mamá, lo choca con un auto. Ya se murió mi mamá. Y por eso, por esa razón, eh, yo vení por aquí. Si yo llegué a Haití hoy, mañana me, 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 me vas a morir. Right now, the Biden administration is focused on finding shelter for the rising numbers of unaccompanied children arriving at the southwest border mostly in Texas. I asked Marjorie Rosales, who wants to be at the port of entry the second a change in policy is announced, if she would ever think about sending her young daughter, Angie, ahead without her. Pues por eso estoy aquí yo, para que sea legal, me entiende, pidiendo ayuda, o sea, que él me ayude. Nos ayude pues a todos los que estamos aquí, no tenemos. Mi familia, bueno, mi hija y yo corremos peligro en Honduras, no puedo, yo no puedo llegar. She tells me she wants help or just some sort of plan 
to come soon. In Tijuana, Max Ruglin-Adler, KPBS News.